They call them wall dogs. Hundreds of artists are descending upon Streeter, Illinois, about 80 miles southwest of Chicago. And they'll paint murals over five days. Eyewitness News reporter Paul Monkey takes us to Streeter Wall Dogs Festival. <laughs> These are the wall dogs, artists whose predecessors once dangled from ropes painting ads on the sides of buildings. The modern day wall dog paints history. We step into a town and at first we don't know anything. And usually by the time we leave, we're explaining to the town things that they didn't remember, which is fantastic. 260 wall dogs from throughout the U.S. and at least half a dozen foreign countries are in Streeter, population 14,000. The murals they'll complete in four days will tell volumes about the town's 150 years. There are so many great stories, and these kids are going to grow up in town learning things about their hometown they probably never would have had an opportunity to hear about. So here you go. This mural is for Clarence Mulford, the creator of Hopalong Cassidy and his Wild West adventures. He was born in Streeter. Astronomer Clyde Tombaugh's mural wins a spot on Main Street. And why not? He discovered Pluto. Tombaugh was born in Streeter. Streeter has a very rich baseball history, personified in part by one Elmer Blasco. Elmer went to work years ago for Rawlings and came up with the idea for baseball's Gold Glove Award, which won him a spot in Cooperstown and now in his hometown. Midget race car champion Bob Tattersall is a proud son of Streeter. His widow, Dee, has been proudly watching the artists create. My heart is just going to fall. It's going to fall. I've shed a lot of tears already. Just, I go home at night and I think how wonderful this has all been. It's just been a great way for us to just come together as a community and do something to celebrate ourselves and to just help promote our town. Wall dogs have been painting murals in towns now for 25 years. They paint for free. Their pay comes in food, lodging, and most importantly, the joy and pride they leave behind. In Streeter, Illinois, Paul Meinke, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Is that fascinating? That's really cool, just chronicling I history. I know, art imitating life and life imitating art. Exactly. It kind of works out really nice, fascinating. So, hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC 7 Chicago YouTube channel.